Hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome. In today's episode, we will talk about natural looking light we and will. a brand new course that we have launched on the Profoto Academy. So stick with us and we will talk about natural looking light. And if you have any questions around natural looking light with flash, please pop them in and exactly. we will answer them as well as we can. And uh, let me just do one more thing. This is episode number 30. 30. Seven. Seven. See you short. again and welcome to you and welcome back David. Thank you so much, thank you so much. It has been so <laughs> so sad for me not to be able to be here. <laughs> yeah, but now well, I am back. Well barely. Yeah. I'd say uh, that you <laughs> yeah, barely. you're still heavily medicated and um, so we'll be careful, we'll yes. try to be nice with you. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> I'm we have so a weak. A lot of friends here from Spain, Ohio, France, New Jersey, Mexico, India. Hello from the black hole. Well, actually, I just before we started, I looked at the first image of a black hole. Oh. They, uh, it's on the news now. They've actually posted a, a picture of the black hole. Ooh. How cool is like that? Like NASA? Yeah, NASA? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. And how was it like? It was black. Oh. Yeah, it looked like a hole. Who could uh, imagine? <laughs> <laughs> India's here, Cologne. Brazil, uh, oh, there's a lot of, oh, I, it's just too much hair coming in. Okay, everybody, hello and welcome. Uh, we are, uh, first of all, apologize for uh, last week that we did not show up. Well, for one reason, this guy was sick. Uh, yes. Pneumonia, yeah. right? Pneu pneumo pneumonia. Pneumonia. Pneumonia, yeah. Pneumonia. yeah my <laughs> lungs were infected and yeah. uh, I, I just came home, came home from Abu Dhabi where we're doing, where we're doing this uh, big film and my lungs kind of collapsed. Yeah, well, yeah. So you've been working kind of hard at lately as yeah, well, so you probably have, your, your no defense immune system, immune system was down by your ankles. So. Yeah. <laughs> but now I got a Swedish coffee again and I'm starting <laughs> to build everything up. It's good to have you back. Yes. Uh, and I see good there are here. several other here that are thinking it's good to have you back as well. We got Munich, France, Utah, South Africa and Houston. Oh boy, so there's a lot. We were from all over. Cool. Belgium. Uh, so we have here learned Yes, we have already one. Uh, Joel, teach more of, of my friends about the Profoto systems. Since I get asked lots of questions about Profoto. Uh, so we'll try to help you, Joel, as much as possible. If you have any questions, well, pop them in here and we'll make yes. sure we spit them out. But the reason why we are here and why I'm so excited is that we have launched a new course on Profoto Academy. Exactly. We have launched and a new course and the name is? Uh, how to create natural looking light anytime, anywhere. With flash. With flash. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Brand new course out yes. like today or? Uh, Monday. Monday. Actually, Monday. You, you kind of sneaked it out on oh. Monday, mm. make sure that every, all the links were working and mm. so forth. And, and they're doing translations right now on the subtitles. So the French version will, uh, and the German version and the Japanese versions, they're coming. I think they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, they're all in, in, in process. So okay. right, right now you have an uh, English version. Okay, English version. Yeah. Uh, but all the languages, uh, I think the, the deadline, absolute deadline is May 22nd okay, for, for all, all the, the languages. languages. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but as soon as one language is ready, we'll pop it in. Hmm. Okay. I think you should uh, <coughs> consider to have Swedish too, a Swedish version, just for me. Yes, for <laughs> but you wrote it, so I mean, you yeah. should know this. Oh, okay, already. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. why why did we put this together? And uh, 
I wanted to talk a little bit about it. it. It's one course, it's not a whole series, it's not separate, it's one course, it's 43 minutes long. And we put it together because we get so many questions around uh, natural looking light. Because there are kind of two schools or two different things. If you're in a studio, for example, you normally want to black out all the ambient light. You, and then you put your camera settings. So have total control over the light. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Total control. So if you take a picture, you get a black frame. And then you have total control. Every little piece of light is something you've added. Yeah. But if you are in a, in a nice environment and you want to shoot uh, cars or a person in the nature, then you want to balance and you want to work on uh, you know, a, a nice image. And you want it to look kind of natural. Yeah. How do you do that? Especially when people especially in, in the beginning when start starting out with flash. They yeah. think that flash is way too flashy. It looks too much artificial. Oh, and what is flashy then? Well, here we get a couple <laughs> of examples. Yeah, that Here's is a typical a flashy image. Yeah, my company car. Yes, <laughs> it's beautiful. That, that, that is one good example of where it's no doubt that is a flash. Yeah, that's a flashy image. Yeah, and and that, that is something we all have seen, we all know, and we do not want that when we want to make a natural looking light with flash. Yes. And we also had a picture from our latest uh, company party. Yeah, <laughs> you and me there. You and me, yeah, we're sitting there enjoying <laughs> life. Just next to the toilets there. <laughs> yeah, so we, yeah, we don't have to walk too far away. Exactly. And I still don't understand why we rented that uh, <laughs> kind of ride there, because we didn't dare to go on it nope. anyway. No. no, we just sat there and just yeah. waited for So this is also <laughs> another typical flashy image. Yeah. Of course, it's, I mean, it's, it's extremely flashy looking. You can really see that that is a flash. And that yeah. I think that that image, image is a good example of what people imagine when they are thinking about flash. Yeah. Those totally overexposed, really artificial, non-natural looking images. And the way to use flash to make it look natural, mm -hmm. that is what the course is all about. Yes. Especially from a starting out uh, viewpoint. Yeah. Where, and where to start, how to think, and so on. And, and, and uh, I, 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 I like it, but, but uh, of course I'm biased, but uh, I'm just reading because we're getting so many hellos from, uh, from him, Finland, Italy, uh, you one, of course, even India. Uh, oh, behind you guys is an umbrella. Well, actually, it is a giant umbrella. It's a three-meter wide yeah. big umbrella. So it's, it's really massive, and we, we kind of like it. <laughs> uh, and we thought that we should change the different corner. And why do we change a corner? Well, the corner where we normally sit, and I'll show you, if I put a camera there, it looks like this. Yeah. There's an army of, you know, dun, 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 or copyrights. We don't have copyrights. Yeah, we just alternate. <laughs> yeah, we alternate. Song. Yeah, it's like an army of A1s standing yeah. there. Uh, why? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. They are just standing there. <laughs> They're standing there. So, yeah, we, so we, the A1s took over our corner, so we had to move corner to the giant corner. Yeah. That's and there's about equally the uh, same amount of... Uh, uh, connects as well. So I guess they're doing some kind of funny uh, project or they're going to do some workshop or, or, or something. So mm. something, Always something fun is going on in this studio. Yes. Yes. Cool. Uh, Andrew Henning, uh, please give a big thank you to you guys in the customer service office Nordic. Outstanding service. Proves my decision to use Profoto, the right one. Well, good to hear that, Andrew. I mean, we, uh, I know Profoto is really trying. Uh, to do their utmost when it comes to service. Uh, we've had a couple of cases, uh, I think it was uh, two weeks or three weeks ago, we had one person who tried to uh, leave a product for repair and they, it, was not, it was unrepairable and, and he was dissatisfied. And, and that, that's of course very, very unfortunate and they should be exception, exceptions. Because uh, Profoto is all about, it's a premium brand, it's, uh, uh, and with that comes of course premium service. Uh, and we try to help as much as uh, we can, and, and, but that was just unfortunate. Uh, and uh, so, anywho, that's it and that's that. But in order to do, to do this video, we, um, we didn't do it on our, on our own. No, we didn't. No, we partnered up with uh, uh, Audrey Wollard. Yes, and Audrey Wollard. Audrey Wollard is a, a Chicago-based photographer, and she uh, shoots mainly in urban environments. Yeah, she really she she really is into urban environments, and, yeah. she, and she shoots teens and tweens. Exactly, teens and tweens. Yes, in urban environments, that is her style. Yeah, um, and she's really good at it. She has uh, made a you know a long 
uh, how do you say, a career, career, yeah, career yeah, exactly, yeah. on shooting those, those uh, kind of images. And, and that was, of, and she's, she also had gone through a trip where she in the past used to just to, uh, some speed lights and then she used focused on shooting in natural light and, and, and then she re, re, uh, what do you call rediscovered. It? Rediscovered. Uh, flash, yes. and she's uh, kind of using that. In, in, she has a very unique style in in in, in the way she shoots uh, uh, these twins. And she actually shot my daughter as well. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah. but mm. the, the gun. <laughs> she shot your daughter. Yeah, with, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and with beautiful images, and and that's of course you know like always with uh, with taste. What is a beautiful image? I like her style anyway. Mm. Uh, but we thought it would be great to uh, to team up with her and um, get some new blood in our, our classes and exactly. get a new perspective and, it was, and exactly. it was I, I think it was super, super exciting that because she was, you know, for real, she had just started out again with Flash yeah. and started to learn and she wanted to be able to create natural looking uh, Flash yeah. images. Yeah. So she was the perfect person for us to partner up with. Yeah, yeah. To partner up with. So yeah. it was a super cool, how many days were, the, were we there? Um, <laughs> Five, yeah. five days? We went five to Barcelona. Days to in Barcelona, yeah. exactly. Because we couldn't be in Sweden. It was in December. Yeah, December in Sweden is like... Crappy. Yeah, <laughs> really crappy. So we, we went to Barcelona to get some kind of better weather and, uh, yeah. you know, better and, and conditions and, and to shoot. And, and also in, in an urban environment. Yes, and, and we couldn't shoot in Chicago, her hometown, because that's they have had even worse weather than we did <laughs> in, in, in Sweden. So, so that's why uh, we went to Barcelona. And had actually pretty good weather. Yeah. Uh, you wrote the script. I did. So I, there's I a lot of script. visual knowledge in a the course. A lot of visual knowledge in the course, and awesome. it's it's totally focused and based on. Um, I used to say the word, uh, uh, the basic foundations. You know how to create, how to think, how your mental, um, st <laughs> how you should think to be able to create natural looking light with flash. Mm. Because it's not about what kind of uh, modifier modifier should I use. It's not about oh, what settings should I have on my camera. You have to have a uh, you have to if you think in the right process. If you have the right process while planning your while shoot, creating your image exactly, yeah. knowing what to to uh, look for and so on, then you will be. It's much it, it's a lot much much more easier to uh, to achieve your natural looking images. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and in there we have a, a kind of controlled environment, an educational area. Exactly, we have separated in two environments, the controlled environment, the where educational, the, like a studio where I am and I'm talking about the concept, the, the uh, how to think and how it works and what the we are going to do. Theories. Exactly. Uh, and then we go out. And then order is out, yeah, order is out shooting and, uh, and, and uh, there are a couple of uh, tips and tricks that we are teaching out and showing in the shoots, but there's a lot of content in also in the educational part where you really talk through. Exactly. So, so it's like uh, theory, practical, theory, practical. Yeah. Uh, and as you said, a lot of tips and tricks in the practical parts yeah. too. Yeah. And then we, 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 we've chosen five different images that we shot. Uh, yeah. Of course, you can shoot a gazillion different ones. Yeah. And we can talk about, I mean, what is natural light? Uh, if it's a, a cloudy day, you have a very soft light, that's natural, natural light. Of course. Uh, you have a sunny day in Santorini with the very sharp shadows, that's natural light. Yeah. But so we it's are doing, wide. Yeah, we, we, but we're doing like um, recipes for yeah. five typical things you normally end up wanting to do when creating natural light. So it's a really good starting point yeah. for, uh, uh, yeah, creating that. Why don't we look at the trailer? Yeah. There's, a, there's a trailer for it. Okay. Uh, I think it should start now. In this course, you will learn how to make subjects pop out, create pockets of light, create blue and golden hour light, and how to easily light flat lays. My name is Audrey Willard. And I'm here in the beautiful city of Barcelona to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to create natural looking light with flash. Don't get me wrong, I love natural light, but I like to maximize my possibilities as a photographer. And flash gives me the power to create natural looking light whenever the sun doesn't help me out.
My goal with this course is to make you guys inspired. Build your self-confidence with making natural light with flash. I know some of you think that flash always looks artificial, harsh, or that it's just too complicated to control. This is so wrong. The first thing you need to know is how light works. That was the trailer. Some that cool images trailer. from Barcelona. Yeah, it brings back a lot of memories. Yes, <laughs> it was good. We had uh, we were shooting with some great people there. Yeah, uh, Lau and Tuke and yeah, uh, really, Michael really Rosco. great photographers. Yeah, they were and crazy photographers. Crazy, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> there are some angles there that you might wonder how they got to it, but uh, they were fantastic. Yeah, and then one mm. evening we actually bought some scooters and we we ride around <laughs> the whole whole city like watching. Yeah, because we were working like very long days. We had no wherever we went and we were shooting, we saw these people on these electrical scooters yeah, and said, everywhere. That's, yeah, and so the last day. The, the, yeah, the day before we, we were going to go home, we actually bought them in the evening. Yeah. And then we went out riding. <laughs> Crazy. And we didn't think about the, how big the battery is. Because it's like, it's like two and a half kilos of uh, lithium ion battery. But we yeah. managed to get them on the airplane. Yeah, it was like, now we have, now we have uh, seen all of oh, Barcelona. Barcelona. This should be in so <laughs> cool to do in Sweden, Stockholm. Let's bring the bikes home. I mean, they were quite expensive. Yeah. Let's take them on the plane <laughs> with uh, these batteries. But like, <laughs> okay, how will this? How can we manage to do this? But we managed. And, uh, let's not talk more about no. that because uh, <coughs> we might be um, yes, we incriminating ourselves. Yes. So let's continue. Are. Yes. Uh, anywho, uh, cool video, cool images, uh, and uh, there was actually a question here yes. that I really like from from Mr. Jasper yes, Singh. Hello. Uh, he says, how we control the diffused highlights and specular highlights when we shoot in outside, in, in sunlight. sunlight. Mm. Okay. So what he's talking about, he's talking about two different kinds of highlights. It, 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 there is many words for this. He uses the words diffused highlights and specular highlights. And that is often the, um, what you used to mean is like the, you know, the, you have the skin tone. Yeah. And you have the specular highlights, you know, the really the white. harsh ones, yeah. the white ones. And then you have those diffused ones so it's like yeah. three levels the skin tone the diffused highlights and the harsh ones and he wonders how do you control that 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 is the uh, it's a very good question uh let's see i just have to read the question again how yeah how yeah. will you control the diffused highlights and speaker highlights so the thing is the, the 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 reflections the highlights or the reflections are a mirrored version of your light source that is what it is always the structure of the skin or whatever you're shooting, if, if you shoot like a, uh, a silver cow, let's, let's take you take a cow and mm -hmm. you put silver on it. Which you, know? you normally do. Yeah, of course. Oh, of course. Yeah. Then you will see the reflection in the cow, but only the specular highlights because there will, won't be any diffused highlights. Okay. But if you take some sand paper, you uh, take yeah, some sandpaper, sandpaper yeah. and you know, rough the or a map, map of uh, Sahara. Yes. <laughs> yes, we did. I mentioned yeah, map of Sahara <laughs> and, and scrub that silver cow. The reflection will, of course, grow. Right. Mm -hmm. That is the diffused reflection. It's just a, a normal reflection that is, that, that is uh, uh, getting diffused because the surface is getting rough and roughness creates new points for the for the reflection to show. That is the diffused reflection. So reflections uh, diffused or or, or, specular. or or specular is the same thing, actually. That is the reflection, the, the mirrored reflection of your, of your light source. So if you want to have big, then you need to have a big light source. You, if you want to have a really harsh reflections, you need to, need to have a small light source. And when would you like to have really hard reflections? I don't know, but you know, if you want to. So what can you do? What can you do to control that? There is actually two things you can do, maybe more, but two main things. The first thing is to buy or, or to hire uh, a makeup artist, of course, mm. you know, and just do like Anders is from, from birth, just matte and nice, <laughs> you know, to, to matten it up. And that actually creates a lot of uh, microstructures in the surface, which creates those specular highlights to become diffused highlights or and even more, maybe to, maybe to even disappear. 
And that's why makeup artists are so important. Really, really important. And people tend to uh, cut corners when it comes to makeup artists. Yes, but, but we actually, never do. yeah, that is a really don't. Please use makeup artists because that is a really great thing because yeah. you get it. Everything is like Photoshop from from start. Yeah. Okay, that, that is the first thing to use a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. But if you can't, what to do? What to do? Then of course, if you use a bigger light source, your reflections will, will feel much more softer because they will be bigger and more diffused into the skin and, and, and so on. And how do you make the sun into a big light source? Hmm. If you use like a diffusion panel, you know, you really know, you one know, of those big screams. That big you screams, yeah. you know, the collapsible diffusion panels, big screams in front of the sun, <laughs> yeah. outside of your, of your frame, of course, then you will have a new big light source and your reflections will be much, much wider. In other words, feel much, more, much softer. Another thing you actually can do, but that doesn't count for natural sunlight, but if you have, if you have like um, a flash instead of a sun, your microphone oh, is uh, my, oh yeah. sorry yeah I, I shouldn't hide up my microphone uh, actually the closer you get with your light source you can't do that with the sun but if you have a flash the closer you get with the light source the weaker the reflections will be but that is another episode yeah that is that's that a is the thing, compression yeah. effect and we talk about that in, in another episode but actually create to control it create a bigger light source that usually makes the trick mm, uh, that's the key thing to do, I would say. Uh, any comment on that? I, I, what he said. Yeah. I, I, I could not agree uh, more with that. Um, yeah, Mark mentioned here earlier, makeup, exactly. Yeah. That's really good. Uh, oh, Vicky Papas. Hello, Vicky. Good to see that you're uh, joining us uh, for all the way from Australia. Or maybe you're out traveling. Yeah, uh, but still from Aust Australia. Yeah. And if you have your way past Sweden, we need to get you here behind yeah. this table yeah. and, and play with us. There's plenty of room. Yes, we can scoot over. Vicky? Yeah, would be perfect. Yeah. Uh, but again, back to the, so that was very good questions. We love these questions. Uh, and there's another one there that we will come back to. Uh, but to kind of uh, wrap up the, the, what you can expect in that uh, course, uh, because we do talk about the whole, or you talk about, the, pr the whole process of creating an image that has a natural look. And that includes everything from how do you set the background, what camera settings do you, do you uh, use. Or how do you set your camera setting based on the background. Actually. Exactly, exactly, yeah. 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 And, and then, of course, lighting techniques. Mm. And there, are, there is actually one trick that I've learned from you mm -hmm. that have really eased, helped my... Uh, Lighting technique uh, changed my life. Changed? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it made it really a, a lot easier for me to, when I'm going to set the light uh, in, in the way I think, because you have something that depicts the lighting. How, how should you it work? Because yeah. I mean, what power level should you have? What direction should the light come from? And what quality, hard, soft, etc. Mm, exactly. I mean, that is the three main things actually you can change when you are working with flashes. Yeah. The direction, the quality, and the power. Yeah. That is what you have to yeah. play with. And how should you use those three parameters to get a, as natural light as possible? Exactly. Yes. And I think um, I know what you are uh, after. And that, that's in the course, but why don't, I mean, we need to give these guys something. I mean, they're all sitting here listening yeah, to course, us, and we can't, we can't just talk about the course and not give something, right? That's, that's so true. Some knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, the, those three things, the direction, where to put the light, the power of the light, how powerful should the light be, and the quality of the light. Those three things is what you can control. And those three things are totally depicted on what you are seeing in the background. The background of your model or whatever you are shooting, the background where you have your natural light. That is what you have to use as your, uh, that is the guide for you. Yeah. To if, set if you want to make things. it na look natural. If you want to make it look, yeah. look natural, of course. So the key is to see the background and read the background and use that as your guide to set your lights. Because if you don't, if your light doesn't play with the background, I promise you, then it will look f very, very flashy. 
I think that was was your exactly. And because I mean, if if you have a window on the on the left side of the model, for example, camera yeah. left, then I, I I immediately think, okay, so now put all the lighting from the left side because my brain will see ah window light comes from the left, and then I set all the light from the left and it looks all natural. And I can move it really close and I kind of sneak over to the right yeah, side, but, but still focus on, on, on getting the light from, from, from the same side as I have the window. Or it could be, it could be a light bulb on the background that helps me and, and, and gives me direction. And that also, if, you, if you're in Santorini, your, your, your background light is very you know, harsh sunlight then it's it's very very convenient to to continue with small light okay. sources and so then you have the same quality of your artificial light as you see in the background exactly so they, you don't mix them up or if you have a a cloudy day like you have quite often here in Sweden or in for you guys in the UK <laughs> so, uh, I mean if you have a cloudy day and you have this really soft light and if you then add a small uh, a small light, light source, source yeah you will have sharp shadow edges and, and it's not going to be the same. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. The light must make sense and it is the background that dictates that sense that you, that you uh, are after. And I, I know it sounds, you know, really, uh, duh, but of course, yeah, but, but of course, that is what people are making the mistakes. Yeah. They, don't, they don't use the background as their, uh, how sh how they should put their lights? Uh, yeah, okay. That is such a great tip. Um, uh, Audrey Wallard, exactly. Hello, Audrey. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, like, the star of. Why the is your name there? <laughs> We're talking about you, but you are there. Hello, Audrey. So Audrey, the the star of the course is actually on uh, online as well. So if you have questions, she will see them in the comments. And uh, and again, thank you so much, Audrey, for being patient and and uh, with us for the. <laughs> For the whole long week, yeah. we did uh, have some uh, good food and some good laughs. Yeah. Uh, as and we, uh, a tequila. I remember oh the tequila. Yeah. Yes, yes that was at the very mm, end. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> everything is in the end. Yeah, yeah everything happened uh, at the end. So, yeah. so, so, we, we, why don't we just uh, uh, quickly look at uh, uh, a couple of the questions or oh, the, the images that that actually Audrey. Uh, took yeah, in, uh, based on the, our principles exactly in the course and here's one where you s basically make the uh, the subject pop out from the background exactly the, the whole point was to make the subject pop out from the background mm. how to expose your camera to create the, the dark background and so on yeah but and also also actually also this is also includes the small thing there from which direction should the light come yeah. based on the background from exactly. the left or from the right or from straight upon and so on yeah uh, uh, and and uh, we did a, a pocket of light where she's you know the model is sticking into a pocket of light. Yeah, this is a really good tip for when, when you have the, those you know really really dull de, dull, dull uh, light, the, uh, really dull light. Uh, you know we have an overcast and light is just boring, and you want to create something out of it like oh a nice yeah. sunlight. So this is a typical thing. You create like a pocket of light where the model can stick into that pocket yeah. of light. Uh, just to be on the edge between light and darkness, that is um, that always magic, creates yeah. dramatic and magic uh, uh, images. Yeah, and then uh, Audrey shot some golden hour. We faked golden. Hour. I think this was in the middle of the day, or, or I mean, there was definitely yeah. no sun and it was no sunset. So we created a golden hour. We also did a blue hour look, which yeah. you can do easily when you have when you know your camera and the lights. Yeah. And, and then we also did a flat lay, yeah. uh, and, and flat lays can be so complicated. Uh, so we, we, here we basically looked at uh, uh, different techniques that can make it easier for you to shoot. Uh, exactly, a, a, really, a really quick way of making uh, um, a cool and nice and um, uh, actually really creative way of lighting your yeah. simple flat lays. Uh, and I mean, like getting the blue shadows and, and so forth. And all, so those, all, all those small pockets of light there too. And actually, and we, we, I, I talk a lot about um, um, what, how you place the light to enhance the three-dimensionality and such. Yeah. Uh, so it's a really good tip. It's a really simple one, but yet it's a really, really good one where you can be a super creative. And, 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 uh, and uh, Audrey actually mentions this in the course as well. These are not all her rings. Uh, she does not wear that many rings. 
uh, uh, so we actually went to a local <laughs> retail store and yeah. bought a whole bunch just to have <laughs> yeah. something to yeah, shoot. Just to have something to yeah. shoot. Uh, and the rings that she was wearing, they were so expensive, we didn't want to... Uh, <laughs> <no. laughs> Uh, and oh, he, here's a funny one. I, I uh, yeah, let's go over here. I, I just as I came, just came back from uh, way up north, this wedding uh, wedding conference in in Cannes. Yeah. And and there were about 300 uh, wedding photographers, and I thought, well, hmm, why don't we uh, try some of these principles and see how it works? And 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 we want and we had this uh, one Dutch woman. And she had a Sony camera, and she loved, she's never used flash before. And she was a wedding photographer. She was a wedding photographer. Yeah. Uh, worked for like 30 years. Uh, all natural light shooter. All natural light shooter, and, and a very, very skilled, extremely skilled photographer. And so we were in this kind of uh, 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 very Spartan uh, uh, big auditorium. And, and it was like fluorescent light, and it was terrible, terrible light in, in there. Mm. And it was pouring down. Outside. Okay. I outside. mean, we're in Cannes. I mean, come on, we're in Cannes down in the Mediterranean Sea, and I was expecting, you know, <laughs> you had yeah, your shorts on, yeah, and shorts, and uh, you know, champagne and, <laughs> and that big helicopter, ugly hat. Yeah, yeah, and but no, helicopters. It was, <laughs> <and> it was <laughs> the opposite. It was just pouring, pouring, pouring down tropical, pouring down rain. Mm -hmm. And so, well, so so imagine the situation. You are on a wedding. If you have the sunset and it's all beautiful, go out, shoot it. Use the light that you have out there. Absolutely, of course, don't use flash just because you have a flash. Mm. But situations like this, it's tropical rain outside. We are in this boring, rain, uh, boring uh, uh, auditorium. Uh, the wedding is going on. They have the reception and all that in, in the rest of the Helicopters hotel. Helicopters is flying outside. <laughs> so the wedding is here and they've asked you to, this is the area. This is where you can shoot and take pictures of the groom or the, or the bride. And you want to have a kind of outdoorsy, nice uh, uh, picture of the bride. What what do you do? And and this is just like seconds before uh, she took the picture. And uh, we used a, a B10 uh, with the CTO in the back. With, as you can see, there are some plants on the, the left, on the left yeah, side. Yeah. And and then we used one B10 that I just pointed up into the roof to create kind of general sunlight okay so and that was the photographer there the lady on the yeah right. exactly and and her name is yvonne uh, yvonne ten bruggenkatte oh. and this is the image that she actually took yeah you that really looks like it's natural and outside and I mean, windy you, and sunny and uh, beautiful. okay okay the wind is fake that's me with a, a collapsible reflector oh. <laughs> so i was just standing there waving with my collapsible reflector but this is taken in a very boring auditorium Rain is pouring down, yeah. and, uh, and, and and you're using the the techniques, the the mindset of, of how to to create natural looking light. Exactly. So we exactly. use the same principles that you learn in in in, in this course. So oh. this is something that you can create anytime, anywhere, really, course, literally. Yeah. So it, it actually works. I had to try it. I, uh, I, I, and what did Yvonne say then? What no, she she was just, just mind blown. I mean, she was she, she's just like. I'm blown away. This is mind blowing. She mm -hmm. she has cool. never used flash before, and uh, she managed to create an image like that. Mm -hmm. And for those of you who were here two weeks ago when we talked about the the connect, you might recognize the face. It's Julia. Uh, so she uh, she had to model because we had to show. <laughs> so poor her. Uh, I, I, she has to go through all these uh, tough things. <laughs> so, oh, we need a model. Oh, get her in there. And uh, yeah, you, you need a. Uh, another David person, get her in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 And and so it really does work. Uh, and um, uh, so 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 the cool thing is that with this course, I mean, yes, you do talk. You show the in your education area. You talk about the, the theory and and all the house and, and what will happen. And Audrey is out there shooting and talking through her process as well as she is shooting and what 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 she's thinking. Mm. Uh, and then at the end of the whole course you b you basically yeah. you, you go through each image and you break down yeah. the whole process what is happening and it's all animated and, and yeah. all nice exactly so i really really br br break down all the images as you said yeah. uh, and i made those animations you know to really point out what is happening yeah, because uh, when audrey shoots you know she's also into the shooting because we didn't want her to be like theoretical and, and talk while she's doing it because you, we wanted her to really shoot yeah uh, so that is why I'm breaking down everything and trying to explain what is happening and why she's doing as she's doing. Yeah. Uh, and that was, uh, I mean, um, to break, 
to, to break such things down, that is so much fun. If I had all time in the world, I would love to, you know, do that all, all, all time because it's so interesting to, to really analyze and to see and to think about how things are done and how, how uh, you can, in that case, utilize the background and, yeah. you know, in which order did you do things. That is so important. Because quite often, like, like uh, Audrey in, in many of these cases, she, she does things, you do it by instinct if yeah, you know course. how to do it. Because you practice it, you have your 10,000 hours of, of doing it and she's out in Chicago doing it and using all, the, all, all those techniques. But, and, and so, but when once you start thinking about it, it's kind of crazy. That's why it's good to have someone from the outside looking at it and say, okay, so here's yeah. what's actually happening, yeah. Exactly. Um, uh, is this a new course? I was uh, a little late. Yes, it's a new course on Pro Photo Academy. Uh, and uh, do we have anywhere else? Creative during the flat lay, it looks like there was a window there. Oh, it yeah. was a question up there um, about what kind of modifier should I use to make a window light indoors? In, in ah, a studio, I think it was. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What modifier should you use if I'm in studio without windows, but I want to create fake window light? Well, yeah. actually, you do that. That's exactly what you do. Yes. Uh, in the flat lay. Yes, that, that is what I do in the flat lay. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to do that, but from upside down, <laughs> I mean, from, from up shooting down, then you can, then you see that in the flat lay because you can do that yeah. with bigger sets too, of course. Uh, and, and, and also one more thing, we're doing all, of, all these things we're doing with only with, with, uh, with A1s. Yeah. Yeah. Just to A1s. show that, I mean, you can do this with, with the Pro 10s, you can use it with B10s, but we wanted to, to push ourselves and we were using A, A1s just to make it really, I mean, if you can do it with A1s, you can do it with anything. Yeah, exactly. But we did talk about maybe using a burning cat in a tub. We did. But, but that was <laughs> apparently cruel, so we could not do now that. Now a silver cow and a burning cat in a tub. Yeah. Two animals. Yes. We don't like animals. We like. <laughs> yes, we do. I yeah. love it. I have a cat at home, and you have a. No, you don't have a cow at home. I do not have a cow. We have at two home. dogs, though. Two dogs, yeah. yes. Uh, but I want to just to pop yes. in uh, because the I the windows. Think, yeah, the window thing, uh, because the the um, it still applies. The the theory still applies here. If you want to make, if you want to fake window lights indoors, you have to. It's not about the modifier at first. You know, I know that everybody thinks, what modifier should I have? Should I have a softbox or should I have an umbrella? <laughs> but the important part is that you think about the background. If you want to create a faked window light, like on mm. Anders, I don't start with the light on Anders. I start with the background. I need to create a light that feels like it's coming from a window in the background. And then I can light Anders in the same manner. I c it could be a hard light or a soft light. I can place shadows. I can make, you know, I can do anything. But the background will, will uh, tell if it is fake or not. You need, to, you, ha you, you need to make the light make sense with the background. It still applies in your, if you're in a studio and want to make that natural looking light. And I think w uh, the episode with Holly, yeah. Holly Wren, we, we kind of faked the uh, yeah. window. Uh, Blinds, they're called. Right? Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. Did exactly. Window, we, did, we, we did the window with blinds. We did a version there, exactly. Uh, but didn't also we do also one with the where we did the kind of cellar? I don't remember if we did, if we did that in yeah. the holy version because we do it in the I think is it number three? Your, yeah, in the in the in the fundamentals of yeah, lighting. Yeah, fundamentals of lighting course. There we number three. There we talk all about backgrounds. Yeah. And in other words, how to fake window light because you start with the background. Yeah. And how to create that. So that is my tip to you. Start with the background, even yes. if you're indoors. That yes. is so many good questions. Uh, oh, I love Wiki. Uh, you need to come and do lighting workshops around Australia. It would be amazing. Yep. Any day. A just proper lighting course. Yeah, just let us know. We will be there. I'll be bouncing around with the kangaroos and <laughs> eating a lot of meat. <laughs> Sitting around with kangaroos. <laughs> Where's Anders? Oh, he's over there. Oh, Vicky, where can we see the flat lay video? Oh, Vicky, you just go into Pro Photo Academy. You buy the course called How to Create Natural Looking Light uh, Anytime, Anywhere with Audrey Wallard. And uh, uh, it will show you exactly how to do that in detail, broken down into molecules yeah. or even quant particles yeah. or something magnetic fields thingy. A good question from Joel Ruiz. On background light, do you prefer channel D, E and F in order to not have TTL to adjust the light? 
Yes. And then we go on. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah, no, no, that is absolutely true, because quite often you set the background, because TTL is good is when the distance between the light source and what you are lighting, when that changes. Yeah. So for example, if I have a model, I almost pointed at yeah, you, but yeah, no, I, I, I understand. Scary. I understand. Yeah. If you have a model walking towards me, then the distance between the light changes, so the power needs to change, change. constantly. Yeah. But if I have background, for example, if you're in a wedding, you're shooting, uh, you're shooting uh, the, 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 the dance, you can light the background with, with the A1s or B10s or B1s, and, and you can just leave them because no matter how you turn, the distance between the light and the background, because the background won't move. No, it won't move. Uh, normally. Normally it won't move. So and then you're in the movie Inception. Exactly. And that is the trick there, to use those uh, group, uh, oh, the groups, not the channels, the groups, the yeah. E and F, or in order not to have TTL. That is the way you do it, to use those, those groups. Yeah. So very good uh, comment there, Joel. Absolutely. When you light the background, use uh, the groups uh, D, E, and F, because then they are static and they don't move. And then you can shoot the dancing couple yeah. or but the model. But if you, ha if you have detail. a static dancing couple, then you can use uh, those groups on the on the couple. And if your uh, walls are moving, <laughs> then of course <laughs> use the TTL. If you're groups. in the movie Inception, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Vicky Papa's a proper lighting course. You remember David? Yeah, he never forgets anything, unfortunately never. for me. But uh, <laughs> uh, anywho, yeah. Uh, and I think uh, that was uh, a, a lot of questions. Uh, some other news uh, for those of you that already own uh, courses. Uh, I'm going to change. Uh, I'm going to show you some news on the web as well. Uh huh. Uh -huh. What, such a what has happened? Hacker. No, so what we've done, we, we worked on the user interface because I, I got frustrated because I'm not uh, quite often not that smart when it comes to this interweb thing. <laughs> 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 and, 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 and when I went into my academy and I bought some, some classes or courses or series and, and I couldn't see the difference which one I had bought and, and, and where I'm so forth. And so, so I told the, the web team to fix it so I can uh, easily see that. <laughs> so you can I, easily see that. Yeah, because I mean, it was with the, all courses and yeah. I was like, what do I own and what do I not okay, own? Okay, so now there is the my courses. Exactly. So when you go into this one, so when you uh, click on Academy and you already own and you logged in, then you see my courses. Then I see all the courses that I bought and then I can see, oh yeah, this one I've done, boom, 100%. And this one I've only done 40%. So I can easily see the progress of these. That is really nice. It's like Netflix. How much have you seen a um, exactly. episode? Exactly. So you can easily see that. And then on over here, and then also, of course, the, uh, the courses that I bought the last time, they are on top. Mm. And it was the opposite in the past. So the, f the mm -hmm. ones I bought the last one, they ended up in the bottom. And the ones I bought initially, like two years ago, they are on, on the top. <laughs> and uh, so, so it was just all mixed up. And then you get to uh, uh, find courses. That's where you can see all the courses if you, if you want to look at them. So anywho, I think that was uh, uh, pretty cool. Mm. Uh, so you can easily see what courses you don't have uh, and, and, and all the courses you have bought they, they aren't there on the fine courses or are they also there uh, that's a good question yeah I haven't been uh, they, they shouldn't be there but I think they might be yeah <laughs> but next, here this is the yeah so here at least here you have everything yeah, and, then I, and cool. I can choose if I if I'm only 41 percent on, on Hannah Cousins uh, creating natural beautiful light then I can continue the course and would automatically automatically take me to that place yeah. hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Good work, Anders. Yeah, yeah, I can take no credit <laughs> besides complaining <laughs> and, and uh, whining to the web team and they are magics. I mean, they're the magicians. They, they, they said, okay, well, maybe something. And they, I told them what the problem was and they came up with this, which is just brilliant. Mm. So, and then they do some hacking and, and then boom, done. Yeah, but still, thank really you. Really cool. Anders. Really good yeah. function. So, so, so it's a cool thing. So we have uh, popped in some uh, other questions. Joel is having fun. That's good. <laughs> uh, would be great if you come to Switzerland. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's so many places cool. we haven't been to yet. Yeah. Uh, 
India and Korea are uh, in the pipeline. Yep, yep. coming up. And uh, but yeah. Switzerland would be cool. And we have yeah. Portugal. I know that I want to go to Portugal. I know yeah. Portugal is really on. And um, yeah, so, so and now, now apparently Australia to do yeah. proper. We have a question there from Mark Brodsky. Mm -hmm. What's your best advice on using gels to match your flash to sunlight at dawn or dusk? Well, the best advice is to use gels that is matching <laughs> the, the, the light. Uh, I mean, uh, those um, the gels, yep. the A1 color kit. I don't know. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, gel, the gel kit. Gel kit. Yeah. Yeah, I think I uh, are they like? Do you have how many different CTOs are they in there? Like one. A quarter, or? half, and full mm. CTO. So yeah. these are the orange filters, and, and so yeah, quarter orange, half orange, and full. Yeah. Well, the the basics there is to match the color from the flash with the sunlight that you have. That is where it all starts. Like if you have a really warm sunlight, you put on a warm filter, and to find the right filter, I would say try it out because it's really quick just to test pop 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 just to, to yeah. match the light but if you want to be a little bit more advanced do you no they don't want to they don't want to no, be mark is mark is pretty uh, he's, he's 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 out there yeah yeah i think <laughs> exactly. he, uh, he is an advanced yeah, guy yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so uh, if you have uh, uh, a filter on your flash that is a tad colder than your sunlight and then you white balance your camera so your tad colder light from the flash becomes neutral. What will happen with the background? It will be even warmer. In other words, you can work in the opposite color to the background to make it warmer or colder. So you go into your white balance, use the, the, the custom Kelvin. Exactly, Calvin. the manual custom Kelvin thing uh, and just make your flashlight to be natural. In that way, you change this, this, the color of the sunlight in the background where your flashlight doesn't you know, hit anywhere on the sun, I think. Yeah. Uh, in that way, you can, also, you, you can, in other words, control the color of your background and make the background more warm if you want to have a sunlight even warmer. Yeah, and match with, with, the, with the gels that you have and so forth. If, you, if there's yeah. a small change, if you're really into Yeah, perfection. you can be, yeah. So that is a, a tip, I would say. Yeah. Um, Hamed loves when I say any who instead of any how. Yeah, <laughs> so do I. And I don't know why. <laughs> it's just it's become, a, 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 I think it's more fun to say any who than <laughs> any how. <laughs> and I want to say hello to Janko out there. Yes. Hello, Janko. I just see you here. Uh, good to see you live again. Yes. <laughs> Back from the dead. <laughs> Back from the dead. Almost. Actually, I have this big, I need to show you because this is live. Look, you see, I have this big new. Yeah, I have, <laughs> uh, they poured a lot of blood out of me this morning <laughs> in the search for making me healthy. But I'm feeling good. Yeah. So uh, I think we covered all the questions. We, we've seen the course. We've seen... Uh, uh, and I can only recommend it. It's really good because the principles that you, you talk about in there are uh, good for not only the five pictures that we take, but you can apply them on any type of thinking because you talk about how to balance with the background and, and yeah. camera and techniques and so forth. I mean, so and you, 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 can, you, you can grow this into how, uh, extremely advanced stuff too, yeah. but this is the core. Yeah. This is where everything starts. And Joel says so again focus on the background first yeah. yeah and we will repeat that over and over yeah. and over and over again yeah. because yeah. It, it it really does help you if you want to shoot with the natural looking light exactly but if you want to do some experimental uh, uh, or conceptual artsy project or, or just you know this is supposed to be a really uh, obvious studio shoot yeah. studio i mean then of course it shouldn't be natural then you should you know <laughs> really go out there and do yeah because the in the studio no rules apply no rules you can do i mean you can there you can do anything and 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 because that's also part of the deal you make with the viewer of the image because if they see that you're in a studio the view the viewer and the brain doesn't expect it to to to, you know, to match with the window in the background and so forth. They see, okay, it's a gray background, it's studio, then anything can happen. Yeah. And you accept that yeah, because and it's beautiful exactly. and you create fantastic images. So. Because you as a photographer, when you make your picture, you're actually uh, promising the viewer something. Yeah. Like, look at this, this is a studio shoot. Then no one will be, that's artificial because you as a photographer has promised that, yeah, this is a studio shoot. You can see that clearly. Mm. But if you are outdoors and 
mixing with flash and you want that flash to be natural, then the photographer says, look, this is all natural, <coughs> but I'm lying. <laughs> that is when it feels, that doesn't feel right. And you can yeah. feel that the photographer is lying. That is why it feels so strange to see those flashy images. So it's a really good thing to, to, to learn how to read the background yeah. to make that light look. Unless natural. you want to take the pictures like uh, the one we took on the co our company car and uh, the company party <laughs> exactly. that we had. <laughs> so beautiful. Because <laughs> yeah. that's also a style. Yeah, of course. I mean, and, and also in the fashion industry, it's really popular. Yeah, it's to really use the, popular. Yeah. The small contact flashes that makes really flashy images and so, so Exactly. Because th th those images that are really trendy now in the yeah. flash industry, that is all about the photographer tells the, the audience that the photographer doesn't give a shit. Exactly, yeah. Because he's so cool. He just, you know, he just shoot beautiful people. He don't yeah. give a shit about what, uh, how to light. And that yeah. is also a way of uh, communicating with light. Yeah. That and is and what all light, that is what light is all about. You can yeah. communicate and you can enhance feelings. So many cool things you can do yeah. with that. And we are here to help you guys. Yes. Yeah. And guide you through the darkness. Yes. And um, so, so we'll, we'll continue doing that. Uh, we're back on track now for... Uh, uh, you're done with the trips to Abu Dhabi and I'm done with my trips. So I think we have at least a, a bunch of weeks now that we're going to stay put. Yeah. And, uh, and, and do, if you have any specific topics that pops up, just um, put them in the comments and we'll bring them up. Uh, we have a long list of, of uh, topics that we do want to talk about as well, but uh, as soon as you guys come up, because there's been several good ones, we take them up and then we bounce down the other ones and pop them in yeah. and, uh, and we will cover those. But I think that pretty much uh, sums up what we had today. Yep. And it, good to see you guys again. And uh, uh, again, fantastic uh, engagement here. Uh, we love that. A lot of questions. Uh, and hope you guys feel that you also get something, that you learn something from us uh, as we are sitting here rambling. Yeah. Uh, we have fun, we hope you have fun, and uh, until next week, continue having fun, and light stuff, and flag <laughs> stuff, and yes. uh, all the good, cool things that you do. Paint with shadows, and last word is, Focus on the background. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Oh, oh, the one not uh, working with models from David. Yes, that's also a whole episode we can talk about that. Yeah, that is a yeah. Actually, that's a big that one, is yeah. so interesting to to. I mean, I could talk about it for one episode, and we mm. can bring in a lot of photographers. Yeah. that how they are yeah. working with people. That would be so interesting. Yeah. Until next time. Until next time. See you guys. Bye bye. In this course, you will learn how to make subjects pop out, create pockets of light, create blue and golden hour light, and how to easily light flat lays. My name is Audrey Willard, and I'm here in the beautiful city of Barcelona to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to create natural looking light with flash. Don't get me wrong, I love natural light, but I like to maximize my possibilities as a photographer and flash gives me the power to create natural looking light whenever the sun doesn't help me out. My goal with this course is to make you guys inspired. Build your self-confidence with making natural light with flash. I know some of you think that flash always looks artificial harsh or that it's just too complicated to control. This is so wrong. The first thing you need to know is how light works.